Hey, how's everyone doing? So, I had a couple requests to make a tutorial, a video explaining how to get rid of Dino Hand with Chucks. Um, well, the first thing you could probably do is get into double spinning. As soon as you pick up doubles, uh, it's immediately going to give your left or your right hand something to do um, as you're spinning your text. I mean, that'll teach you all the transitions uh, that you can do with both hands. But if you're still in single chuck, I have one fun thing you can do to kind of help you just keep that hand active is really all I can say. Um, so, what I started doing when I was stuck in that kind of dino hand is I'm doing one move and this hand's just stuck in its spot or doesn't know what to do, is I started just doing the opposite. Um, I learned this when I was spinning broadsword, is that you can just keep one hand engaged. You can either keep it in a knife hand or just in a fist or whatever you can do, just keep that hand engaged in the opposite direction of what you're spinning. So say I am doing a figure eight with my left hand out this way. I can take my right hand and just stick it out that way. Um, with traditional Kabuto martial arts, they're gonna add a, make sure you uh, they're gonna you're gonna have it in kind of a defensive position here, or uh, open or receiving. But this is just for freestyle spinning, non-combat nuns. Actually, you're gonna have it sticking out far away, so your arm is straight and your fingers are engaged, and you'll have this kind of position here, or from facing towards the camera this way here. And all you're going to do is when you're ready to go to another direction, up, down, or even opposite, I'm going to take this hand and say I want to circle under to a reverse figure eight this way. My right hand is still out, still engaged. And now I want to circle back over here to a, another figure eight. So that hand is out. Um, let's see. And if I want to maybe go here in this pattern, come back out, go here, and just keep that hand going in these positions, like that, while one is still spinning. And if you want, you can actually follow it up and back down, up and back down. And this is a fun way to do just single hand switches. There. So if I'm just spinning it, I don't have to do uh, a side pass all the time. I can just do the same hand pass. Right there. Same hand, same hand. And that's just keeping that hand engaged. Always out, doing something, either pushing forward, coming back, pushing forward. Coming back, uh, you'll see some um, some really good Chinese players. They'll uh, do this kind of swoopy hand motion here, like that, where they're just keeping both hands open as they're playing. Thank you. So it keeps both hands engaged, and that is basically. All you really need to focus on is just keeping that hand open and just enjoying these motions here. So just that is a fun thing to do. Uh, let's see. What else can I offer? I should get it um, Got the hands open. I think that probably should cover it. I think that might do it for now. I um, can't really think of anything else. Just remember. Just keep that hand open, follow it through to these motions here. And when you're ready to switch, switch, and then do the same thing with the other hand. So that way you have something going on with that hand. Until you get into doubles, this is a good way to really keep that part open there. So, oh, we'll do a few more examples. So. I'm spinning with a simple in spin like this. I can just take that hand and then cross it 
under. Or I can cross it over, whichever way. And that's just keeping that hand doing something instead of just having it here as I'm doing all my cool moves and then stopping and going into here or having that actual dino hand and then here. So if I'm doing a side pass here, I can keep it open and do some fun stuff. Uh, we do like body pat, so we're coming through. If you're doing these body uh, rebounds or bounces, you can also keep it open there. Spots where you would catch, you can just bring the hand there. Open here, there. Catch where you want to, or don't catch. Just like that. So, um, if you have any more questions, let me know. Hopefully this video is helpful in getting you to uh, keep that arm open for uh, any flowier techniques. I mean, once you start getting into your uh, same hand techniques here, it might get a little easier. But for starters, uh, if you're just starting off, you sort of just have that hand moving somehow. Um, and that should do it. Well, thanks for watching and keep spinning.